Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Silver Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a lovely little minimalist factory builder where the inputs and the outputs are letters. That's right. This is Word Factory. Um, we are going to jump into things immediately and see what we've got going on. Uh, I played through all the tutorial levels. I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening to you, uh, happening on, on the screen in front uh, to you. Uh, however, that being said, uh, it's a very simple concept and um, we actually should have no difficulty getting started here. So, this is the playing field. These are all the factories that we are going to have access to uh, over the course of the game. Uh, we've got our factory producer over here. And actually, if I press play, then you can see these factories produce the one and only ingredient in this entire game, uh, the letter I. It's it's quite literally just that simple. Uh, we've also got the letter bender over here, which is going to take which is going to take the eyes. Boom, turn them into C's literally by bending them. Uh, we have got mirroring in the vertical and horizontal planes over here. So, um, well, it's not going to work for the letter I, but if we were to turn, I mean, I can do a little demo here. That in there, that in there, that in there, and up and up. You can see uh, that we are going to be mirroring. We're going to be mirroring the C's across both of the different axes. Anyway, um, what we are hunting for specifically here is the letter A. We also have, by the way, rotate, and we've also got a letter smoosher, uh, which basically just combines all of the different various components, and there's a different number of inputs uh, depending on which factory we want to use. Anyway, um, I think I have a rough idea about how we make the letter V. Um, I think it's, uh, I think, or the letter A, should I say? It's quite simple. I think it involves, I think it involves making a V, rotating it, and then also inserting a, a cross beam. Let me show you what I've got in mind. So if we do something like this, we don't actually need two factories, but we'll do two factories just to, just to demonstrate here. If we pump out some eyes, if we combine them, we combine them, we smush them together, we make a V. Then what I'm thinking that we're going to do is we're going to rotate twice. Uh, do I need to... Sure, get rid of that one. Rotate twice. Excellent. This is going to look higgledy-piggledy, but that's fine. Rotate twice, and then combine with an eye which has been rotated around. How about that? How about that? Try, try that video game. Is that actually going to work? We might have just created a little bit of a a little bit of a monster. I guess rotating twice we could have just mirrored, but I guess it doesn't make a particular a particular difference. So there we go. Boom. We have managed to find an A. It's just that simple. Um, there's probably a more efficient way to do that. As I say, rotating twice as opposed to just mirroring on the horizontal axis. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a quicker a quicker way to do that, but it doesn't particularly matter. Right. Um, here's the here's the next stage of uh, proceedings, I suppose. Um, we are gonna have to make two letters. We're gonna have to make O and we're gonna have to make X. And this is where this is where we're gonna have to get our big brains out and start thinking about how we're going to do this. So I think we're going to start with a letter bender. Uh, then we are going to split. Uh, sure, we can split across the, we can split across both. Why not try this? Right, that's going to allow us to get the O if we mush them together. If you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Right. Let's give that a little. Let's give that a little trial run. So we get the I. We squish it into a C. We switch it around. There we go. We shove them both together because the C's are backwards, and it's just that simple. The X, on the other hand, what if we get like an X? What if we get two? What if we get two V's and smush them together? How about how about that? Um, would that work? We can always give that a punt, can't we? Right. Input and input. We can just use one I factory. Uh, we get a second one down here. Uh, yeah, sure. Second factory down here, like so. Excellent. And then we just smoosh them together in a bigger one after rotating one along the, well, whatever that is, the X axis, the Y axis. I was always confused by the X and the Y axis. Right, let's give that a shot. I'm not necessarily sure how that's going to turn out. I mean, I feel like it should work. 
Hey, there we go. It's just that simple. I mean, if it looks like it should work, chances are um, it will work. Oh, look at that. We've got some cute little oxes. That's very, very nice, in fact. Cool. Very, very cool, in fact. Um, the ratio is not exactly great, but, I mean, I don't think we particularly care, do we? I don't think so. Letters overflowed, we probably could have got more, but look, who cares? Who cares? Right, so cat. Cat is a cat is a fairly easy one. Well, I say cat's a fairly easy one. I think we've got all of the components that we need to do the job. We've learned how to make an A. Making a T? Hmm, probably not that difficult. But you can never be sure. You can never be sure about these things. Right, so we need to make a V. So let's start the process of making a V. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the ratios. I, I just don't really... I just don't really care, to be honest, about the uh, about the ratios. Let's flip along the vertical. There we go. That goes in there. And let's also see if we can try and reuse the second one. See if that works. And then let's also see if we can try and rotate... Twice. Rotate twice. That gets us the T component. And then let's also combine that with... Combine that there. Right. Try try this. This may or may not work. Uh, it may end up not being great. That ends up making a V. We managed to find the N as well. Okay, well that's... Well, we've learned a lot. We haven't actually produced anything necessarily of value here. Um, in fact, dare I suggest that we have done um, perhaps the opposite of what we intended to do. Hold on. What did the, what did this produce? Why is this not producing? Oh, it's because I haven't rotated the, uh, yeah, I haven't rotated the, the thingy over here. Sure. That's fine. But how do we, how do we fix this situation? That's the real question. Uh, yeah, because this, because that's assorted for the C and the A. Definitely not at the correct ratio. Oh, hold up. I'm rotating it too many times, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rotating it too many times. Just do that there. That looks absolutely abysmal. That looks awful. But we'll give that a shot. That's still not working. Hold on. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of this. Give me that there. That there. That there, that there. I think this is going to produce an L rather than a T, to be honest with you. Uh, which is, yeah, not great. I mean, how do we produce... How do we produce a T? Let me try something, because I think I've got a sneaking suspicion about how we do it. Let me, let me build these up a little bit more. Um, what if... What if we actually do that? What if we produce... What if we produce an L, right, which is going to be like so, and then we produce some more Ls, which I'm going to do, let me think, because I want half the Ls to be flipped along the vertical here. Right, half the L's flipped along the vertical, half not flipped along the vertical. This should be fine. It's going to take a little bit, a uh, little bit of a longer time to do. Let's put it over here just for the sake of simplicity. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes up there. How about that? Right. Okay. So C, absolutely fine. A, absolutely fine. Backwards L. Oh, they need to be rotated. They need to be rotated. They need to be upside down. Uh, yeah, they need to be. They need to be mirrored along the uh, vertical rather than the horizontal. It's difficult to explain, but I feel like I'm on the right path, you know? There we go. That looks good. Okay, I've created a, I've created a monster. I've created an absolute monster. Okay, um, let me let me redo that because that was obviously wrong. But we're on to the right we're on to the right path. I think everything needs to be rotated, right? But the problem is, is that we need to have 50% which go directly up and 50% go over here. Try that. Try that. Um, we may need to do another rotation or we may need to do a mirroring. <laughs> it's such an abysmal, such an abysmal letter. Right, do, yeah, one along there, one along there. Okay, try that instead. 
So yeah, we're going to be mirroring the output that comes through here. We mirror that, we turn it around, we smash it together, we get a T. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, as I say, the ratios are completely higgledy piggledy, but it doesn't particularly matter because we've managed to produce we've managed to produce some cats. It's it's just that simple. You love to see it. And we're 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 increasing the size of our sticker book as well. Right. Ivy, that is the easiest letter in the in the world to produce. Sure. And Y, Y is also kind of easy to produce because I think we just get this and then we just add, do we just add all the components? Is that how, is that how it works? Is that how, is that how Y works? V, yeah, it's literally just that simple. It's a, believe it or not, Y is just a V plus a, plus an I. Well, that was one of the easier ones. Again, the ratio, not supremely perfect but we got it in four buildings we got it maybe that is the best way to do it you know it certainly feels good uh bold hmm okay now this is where this is where we start to perhaps get uh, a little bit perplexed let's start from the back side start from the back side down because at least i know what i'm looking for we're gonna do gonna do something like this okay it's a little bit difficult to see but what I'm doing is I'm bending the shape I'm bending the shape I'm mirroring it and then I'm smooshing it together literally the back side of a C into an I boom we've got ourselves a D excellent um L is pretty easy we just do something like this right there we go. That's L. Um, we've already done A a good number of times. There we go. That gets us V. We mirror on the vertical. Uh, and then we get an I, which is rotated. I don't know why I'm trying to prove something to myself and build everything in an obscenely small space. A B, however, a B is a little bit more challenging. Uh, yeah, how are we going to do a B? It's definitely got something to do with the letter bender. Um, I know that much for sure. Uh, yeah. What if we just can, what if we just put two, two of these. two of these into the machine together. Alternatively, what if we get a three banger and we say output is that, output is that, and then output is I. Will that actually work? I don't know. It's a good opportunity to see if everything is working. So we know that D is working. We know that L is working. A is working. Uh, I've created a monster. This needs to be rotated around. Uh, it doesn't need to be rotated along the vertical. It needs to be rotated along the horizontal. That is... My bad. Try again. Try again there, please, buddy. Right. There we go. And hey, what do you know? I guessed correctly. It's just that simple. Bold. Bold, bold, bold. Looks good to me. Apart from the lack of hair. Um, I think the B is probably the most complex letter that we've had to assemble thus far. But all things considered... I don't think it's necessarily a, a bad uh, idea. What is this? This is a challenge level. Challenge levels restrict what buildings you're allowed to use. Most letters have multiple recipes. Challenge levels uh, will make you focus on dis discovering new ways to get recipes. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we're not limited in the red buildings. We are only limited in... We're allowed one rotation each. But rotating and mirroring is, is very similar. And it, we also have no limit on on this. Okay, look, I think this is I think this is fine. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, so we know what is required for a uh, a V. It's this, right? There we go. That looks horrific. Try again. 
that's that there. Then this is in here. Too big? Fine. Don't know why I'm deciding to throw absolutely everything into the same machine. But there we go. Should we try that just to make sure that that all works? Yeah, that one poor machine is pumping everything out. I'm making a W. I didn't mean to make a W. I meant to make an X. Uh, well, at least we've discovered how to make a W. That's slightly problematic, but... I think I see what we need to do. Ditch that. Ditch that. Rotate based on the output. Then we mirror. Then we combine. One with this output and one with that output. And that'll get us X, right? How on earth we make P? I have no idea. Yeah, okay. Shock horror. Two Vs in whatever, whatever orientation end up making exactly what we need it to make. Uh, right, okay. Um, the problem is, the problem, the problem with P is that I kind of thought that the recipe, f the recipe for P looks kind of like the recipe for D. I know that sounds nuts to say, but it's kind of true. There's two components. There's definitely the I, but then there's also the reflected. Try that. What is that going to make? I can check the recipe book. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? You do not like that. Uh, I mean, we can always we can always mirror in this direction and then bring it around. But I'm pretty sure this is going to create a D. Yeah. So how do we... How do we make it? How do we make it a P? That's the, that's the real question. Huh. That is very, very peculiar. Uh, because a P is, it's got a smaller, it's got a smaller top bit. Rotating along the horizontal. I mean, we could rotate along the. Anti-clockwise, why don't we try that? Why don't we try that? That was the wrong one to do, but that's fine. Try that. I don't think this is going to make the difference. I got a J. Well, that's kind of cool, at least. Uh, we tried the other way around, didn't we? Let me try the other way around. You never know, we might just discover the recipe for P. Yeah, no, that's a nothing. That's a that's a nothing. That's a that's a mystery. Oh, what about oh 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 I think I think O oh is is perhaps the magical ingredient to this whole thing. Uh what did I interrupt here? This goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. That continues as is. Okay, here's what we do. This is exactly it. Yoink this in here. Boom. And boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. So we combine into an O. Because we're mirroring the C's. We turn into an O and then we sl... I was so confident. I was so confident that... <laughs> I was so confident that that would be it. I mean... What if we make a D first? How about that? How about that? Right, so we get a C. We mirror it here. Instead of combining with... Instead of combining with... That, we combine with that. And then we go into there. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. All right, so we get a C. We turn it into a D. We combine the D to make a P. God, honestly... I, 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 I had it in me the whole darn time. I just needed to believe in myself. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, well, that gets us pixie. Uh, that does not feel too bad at all, actually. And you know what? That was a challenge level, so I feel, I feel doubly as good. Do I care about the fact that I maybe didn't get things into a good place? 
relative to everyone else? Um, I don't know. Um, well, you know what? That's it. Um, that is it for the, uh, <laughs> that's it for the, the little, uh, the little beta demo that we've got here. Uh, but honestly, I am super excited to see where this game goes. I mean, there's a whole bunch more stuff. There's a whole bunch more stuff, uh, that is, that is coming along, uh, as part of the, as part of the main game. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You're gonna be able to type your own words as well, uh, which is very, very cool indeed. I can't wait to see, to see what more this game has in store. Uh, but for now, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap this one up. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.